All right, I'm going out to find some dirt for making compressed earth blocks. There's a lot of construction going on right around our neighborhood. This is literally uh, just two miles down the road. Um, they're putting up all these houses and I'm gonna go right to the end of um, the area where they're putting in the next row of houses and excavating and digging out about eight feet down for these basements um, and see what kind of dirt they have. I brought a couple empty mason jars so that I can uh, put some dirt in the jars and see if it's got about 15 to 30 percent clay. So um, let's see what what they can come up with. There's the excavator over there. I'm gonna check this stuff out and see if it's any good. This is what they're excavating over here. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna just give it a feel and see if it's sticky at all. And it, I can already tell it sticks right together. Man, this stuff looks really awesome. It's got some aggregate, but then it's got some small aggregate and it um, also has some binder, some clay, and it sticks right together. And uh, that's just with that little bit of natural moisture. That's really just about perfect. I mean, if they deliver this, I could just start making blocks with it right now and don't even have to add water. You need about five to 7% moisture. I'm gonna put some of this in the jar just to confirm that it's in that 15 to 35% clay range. I'm gonna put about this much dirt in it, and then I'm gonna top that off with water, shake it up, and I'll I'll show you later how the how much clay it looks like there's in it. Okay, I'm just gonna top this off with water. Okay, this dirt has had over an hour to settle out and it's looking really good. Um, you've got some aggregate in here, some not too big, but, but plenty of aggregate to make a good block. And then you start getting into some finer sand and then uh, about right here, it transitions to clay. It's always a little easier to see in person, um, but you can take my word for it that where it starts to get really smooth here, is where um, the clay is settling to the top. The clay will always settle to the top for whatever reason. And to understand the breakout, um, we've got really about four and a quarter inches of dirt here. And we've got about, um, we've got about an inch and a quarter of clay and when you do that math 1.25 divided by 4.25 it shakes out to about 29 percent clay so this is perfect stuff right right in the wheelhouse of what we need to make a good compressed earth block so we're excited to use this stuff cubic yard to this dirt delivered from two miles down the road five dollars a cubic yard shakes out to about eight cents for each of these uh, eight by 14 by three and a half inch blocks I'm making so it's plopped right here in front of in front of my mixing pit right by the machine uh, I didn't have to rent an excavator or run an excavator and I, it's good dirt that's proven that I know it's gonna work so I'm excited to make some blocks. Yeah. 